The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of Power Trading Hour with me. And it doesn't matter where you're at or even where I'm at as long as you're here at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Well, we got the bounce I was looking for into Delta Neutral Day. It's kind of uh, waned a little bit. Um... In the uh, daily newsletter, we had calls. As I said, we were buying them on Monday. Uh, we sold one of them today. That was uh, Micron. I was busy buying down there in the low 91s, the 91 calls uh, for the 21st. I thought it may kind of like sneak up, and then, uh, yeah, we got it all at once. So uh, anyway, as it uh, blew through uh, uh, 96 this morning, I shorted the... Um, I shorted Micron at 96, uh, mostly because uh, generally when they come out of the out of the gate like that so hard, they're going to pull back before you ever get the options market open. So that's always something to think about. You know, if you got uh, you know three three calls on something. You can buy 300, uh, or you can go short 300 on the other side. And uh, after they open up the market when it's down a buck or so, uh, you know what? Put away a quarter, uh, one and a quarter percent. Um, and just, uh, you know, it's, a, it's free money is what it is. But uh, playing the other side once you have uh, the actual uh, thing. Now, maybe it goes higher. But uh, again... As long as you get out of them both both sides, the uh, ec uh, the short equity and the uh, and the call at the same time, there's not a lot of risk to be had. In fact, uh, options are a great way to reduce risk. And of course, uh, generally the problem what people have is when they uh, try to add risk because they're cheap, they think that they can go in like the uh, proverbial uh, t -t 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 what's his name. Mm, I'll think of it here in a second. Uh, eh, it eludes me. A plunger. A, a giant plunger. Oh, uh, yeah, well, I almost had it for a second. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Anyway, we're up five points on the SP cash. Uh, let's take a look and see what op uh, what uh, volume is here. If we can get that, um, six point three billion shares. Eh, it's okay. It's not great. Uh, took a look at options, and they're just a little bit below uh, at one o'clock. Uh, what we're trading around. Uh, I thought that for the most part we'd have a bounce uh, into Wednesday. That Wednesday would set kind of a sideways action. I don't think a lot of people want to get brave and go above the uh, 4750 level on the S&P cash. That may change. But at the moment, I think uh, everybody's just thinking, well, I don't want to be short this market. And I don't want to be long this market above 4750. So we may end up trading water for a little bit. At least that's what options are suggesting so far today. So uh, that's it. 877-927-6648. Uh, and what else do we have? Uh, is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and start looking at some other stuff. Um, but again, when we get into this, oh, get back over here to this, to, 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 um, just not a lot. In fact, I need to bring the charts up. Uh, that'll be a good thing. But, uh, you know, 
you had a fairly good bond option, but no one's interested. Uh, it kind of makes me think that maybe we've got a man behind the curtain pulling the rods, but uh, at this point he's pushing on a string. And uh, you came right up in this one today into the downtrend and reversed out of it. I continue to think we're heading back down to 139. Um, but, uh, yeah, not a lot of volume either on the pop up here. So, continue to think that the trend is intact. You blew through the previous low, uh, by a few cents and bounced, but that previous low of the TLT was uh, October 11th with 7 million shares. You had about 14 million shares. Uh, but that's it. Yeah, that's it. I don't think there's anything more in that. Okay, uh, let's just uh, talk a little bit about uh, what some of the uh, big stocks are doing before we get into the news here. Yeah, you did bounce, but like I said, uh, a lot of times if you're thinking it's the end of the world, it takes a little longer than you thought to develop. Um, AMD went right up to resistance levels, which is the uh, three by, well, a nine day moving average or the three by three. Let's go back to the displaced moving average. Um, actually, it's a little better above that. Huh. A little better than I thought. The volume is lacking, though. So we don't have much in that. Let's take a quick look at uh, NVIDIA. And eh, kind of the same thing. You went over it, but you got about half the volume. So the close the next day or so, next 24 hours, going to be uh, really important. Let's do a little history so that when we come back, we can go right in. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. And, yeah, the mind is always the second thing to go. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, we've got a few things to talk about. On this day in 1996, though, Apple Computers announced it will post a $68 million first quarter loss. It also announces the restructuring plan to reduce the company's by 1,000 employees. This uh, event leads to the resignation of Apple CEO uh, Michael Spindler who's replaced by Gil Emilio, who is really just a figurehead until Steve Jobs could come back. Uh, Gil Emilio was Steve Jobs' guy. He bought Steve Jobs' company Next. Next was a uh, thinly veiled uh, version of Unix. Uh, now everybody kind of knows this is Linux uh, with a better uh, Mac-like uh, interface on the front of it why so many people that work in web stuff today kind of like Max because it's uh, it's a real kind of Unix operating system underneath the covers. But of course, uh, within a year, you'd see the return of Steve Jobs. And uh, after 10 years of wandering in the wilderness, came back. We'll be back in a minute. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. And we're back uh, debating in the den about Microsoft and when you should have bought it. I think uh, in the den, he says you could have bought it for like a buck or something back in that 1996 range. Uh, I think because it came back to, I think, like three bucks or something in 2001. Uh, and then uh, it bounced and it came back. And I think the buy was it testing uh, its lows on half the volume? I remember in uh, March of uh, 2003 with half the volume. But the reason I would say that uh, that would have been a much better buy than the one at a dollar is that, one, you can't look back all the time. But secondly, they had just gotten $500 million from Microsoft with another $500 million in the wings uh, from Bill Gates if he needed it. He was afraid of more uh, uh, antitrust suits and was willing to keep them alive uh, just to make sure that didn't happen. <laughs> and now, of course, they're bigger than Microsoft. But eh, he had already left or getting he was getting ready to leave, I think, in that time and give it off to Bomber. And all he wanted to do is have him keep the stock price up and sell uh, a couple thousand shares a day for the rest of his life. And, of course, he's uh, pretty much out of all of Microsoft. I think he's got some, but I think he's gotten rid of 90% of what he owned at one time. Uh, first question of the day, why do I think Facebook uh, is so evil? Well, literally, they get uh, fined every day for doing something illegal, especially in Europe. Uh, they just pay the fines. It's like a speeding ticket at the Indianapolis 500. Uh, but uh, more than anything, he's just a phony weasel that lies all the time. And, you know, if everybody makes a big deal about, uh, uh, you know, the Russians getting involved in the election. Well, Facebook did a lot more to try to put its thumb on the scale of the election than the Russians ever were able to. Uh, they've got all this phony uh, uh, fact checking stuff that's done by people that really he says are independent, but he's actually paid for. Uh, he runs around uh, all the time saying that, uh, you know, global warming is a big issue. And then this paid uh, last week a mil $100 million for some land that he's, 
he's saying will be underwater within a, a couple of years. So literally, I don't believe anything he says, but he's a narcissist and he's always, uh, uh, yeah, or really what he did was fan, fan the flames of narcissists everywhere with Facebook, with how many quote, quote, friends we had. And uh, literally, I don't think he's done anything that was good. I mean, the original idea, you know, just everybody sharing their pictures and stuff. Um, but um, he's like a lot of folks that once you got money, you just want power. And then you become uh, incredibly nuts uh, about that. I don't know if it's, uh, you know, it's kind of, uh, what was it, not Jaw? Uh, who is the guy that lived in the penthouse? of uh, uh, the uh, Hilton in uh, Las Vegas for 20 years. Can't remember his name right now. But I, maybe that's what it is. But uh, I just I just literally despise all the stuff that he does and stands for. Uh, and, of course, he got a good gift today, and that is that the, uh, uh, the uh, courts said they could go ahead with uh, the... Uh, lawsuit from uh, the government on antitrust so uh, that's going to be it but yes uh, apparently I'm buying land that's going underwater next week if you listen to him but of course he's out there buying uh, that kind of money buying up uh, Hawaii I think he's I'm going to make a kind of a bold prediction uh, I'm going to say that by the end of this year he's out he maybe become chairman or something like that, but I think by the end of this year, when the court cases come on and he can't uh, he can't just uh, lie his way out of it, when it's in court, people are coming after him, it's going to be a big and very different story when all the sins are laid bare of uh, the antitrust stuff they did, a lot of the other stuff, and of course, uh, in a year from now, he's probably going to be facing a great deal of uh of uh congressional testimony about uh what he's done and again it'll be very tough for him to avoid uh 877-927-6648 but yeah on facebook uh the antitrust lawsuit to bust them up uh one of them has already gone well at least going to court doesn't mean they're going to win but uh facebook's uh challenge to it trying to force it out uh of court did not win. In fact, the judge thinks that they have a very good case. And uh, more than likely, the, uh, so far, the evidence that has been presented, uh, he thinks that uh, the uh, government will win. So, anyway. Uh, narcissist indeed. Anyway, uh, not much going on in this. Uh, I think it's going to take a major loss um, in fact, I think you can compare this a great deal to Microsoft uh, around that 2000 era where it lost 30 percent or 35, can't remember, something like 30, 35 percent in one day when the judge ruled against Microsoft. I think the same thing's going to happen. Everybody believes it can't, but I think one day it is. And maybe it dips a little bit before that. Maybe some people have a long enough memory to remember it. I figure that probably 80% of the people in the stock market now were not in it after 2001 or 2002, so they probably haven't paid much attention. But I can remember the wailing and gnashing of teeth when uh, Microsoft went into that. And, of course, uh, generally what happens uh, is the same thing that Microsoft did, which is they said, uh, we want an office. We want it right next to all of your executives' office, and we're going to plop this guy down. And he's got you got to tell him everything that's going on uh, for the next 10 years. And then if you're a good boy for 10 years, then that's it. But uh, they can't sneak around uh, behind these guys uh, lest they go to jail. And uh, that's really what hit hurt Microsoft for that many years. And then, of course, by the time uh, Bomber had gotten through all of that, he really didn't know how to win anymore. I don't know if he ever did, but uh, eh, that's it. Anyway, Microsoft up a little bit. Again, not a lot of volume. Um, I think we have the bottom for uh, expiration into the 21st. But I do think that you can move back higher, uh, maybe slowly. 
Uh, when I look at the trend numbers, and mostly I look at the trend numbers now at the Amex because it holds the biggest ETFs. And if people are actually shorting the ETFs, kind of a, the, the easiest way to see the trends the uh, trends uh, on a global scale is that uh, we continue to see uh, people shorting yesterday. So I wasn't surprised about the early bounce today, um, but it's probably going to take people quitting shorting uh, to get this market to go down. Uh, but like I said, I think we could just go sideways for, for a handful of days, maybe seven, eight days. If you're thinking about uh, breaking out or breaking down, it may take that long before we uh, get a good indication of which one that is. 877 Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we're back. Uh, look at a few other stocks out here. Um, to two. Let's take a quick look at Amazon. Uh, eh, you got a bounce in this, but, you know, the energy's not that bad. It's just in a big trading range. Think of a $500 trading range in Amazon. Um, Would have liked to have seen this uh, low uh, tested on a lighter volume back here on January 10th. You didn't get it. Um, high volume low, 
just means that you're probably 85, 90 percent chance of testing it before you go back and blow out the other high. So I do think that there is an opportunity uh, for the bears out there for some of the bigger indexes to head lower. Uh, but for the most part, I think a lot of the sector rotation uh, that is the beginning of this year is probably, I don't know, three-fourths done. Now, that's always going on. But, but I mean, the, the, the people that really came in on January 2nd or 3rd or 4th and decided, hey, I'm going to get out of this and into this, didn't change much. Uh, but uh, you know what? There just isn't a whole lot there. And um, I bring this up from time to time. But you really have to think about a new CEO, and that CEO's job generally is to clean out all the dead wood and uh, uh, the skeletons out of the closet, especially in the bookkeeping department. And my guess is there's probably a few of them there for Bezos. Uh, but uh, you know everybody expects uh, them to get and throw everything in in the first couple of quarters. So I think that's probably going to be weighing on Amazon for a while. At any time, of course, they can just quit spending money, and that'll instantly go to the bottom line and make them look like they make enough. But I think a lot of people are thinking that uh, they're probably going to try to clean a lot of that up with the new CEO. And uh, why uh, Bezos is still the, what, the, uh, the head of the board eh, still becomes a problem. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Oh, what did I want to look at that I was just thinking of? Uh, ASML. We talked about this one a month ago. Uh, it's back down. It did bounce a little bit today. I had some more questions on it. You had a light, heavier volume uh, test of the uh, 709 low. Uh, you got to 700. Uh, you got a little bit of a bounce. Probably the biggest problem on this one, even though I like the energy on the way down, uh, is that uh, most of the Western countries are banning ASML from selling to China. And that uh, in itself is problematic for them. Uh, they were gearing up to make about another five or six machines. Uh, these machines would have been $250 million a piece. So there's a few billion dollars laying on the table. And of course, ASML would like to sell to them. But at the same time, they know that uh, if uh, China had everything it needed, it would just wipe everybody out in the uh, chip industry. And certainly uh, between that and threatening to invade Taiwan, uh, a problem. So. I'm maybe not as hot on it as I was one time. I didn't think anybody would think that they would be able to sell to China anyway. But uh, that's kind of the thinking right now. Uh, in FLX, we'll see some of these other ones that are out here. Not a real bounce uh, in Netflix. We've talked about all the headwinds uh, going in front of them uh, this year. And... Uh, you know, we were looking at that five, I think it was 560, 580 level, and it went right through it. Um, still hasn't come back above the trend line at all, at least on the three by three. So I don't think there's a whole lot in that one either. I think a lot of people are looking at Disney and some of these other ones. Uh, not surprised Disney is blown up. We talked about all the problems that Disney had uh, after spending $4 billion on Star Wars and then trying to ruin it at every conceivable turn, uh, has uh, spent a bunch of new money on uh, another spinoff. And uh, as far as I can tell, I watched the first two episodes, ugh, not a whole lot of nothing on that one. Uh, the Mandalorian is still probably the only big draw uh, for Disney short of Ted Lasso which I don't know of a lot of people. I hear it's very good, and I know uh, the guy that uh, makes it is for behind Spin City and Scrubs. And I think he's had four big series on television. And uh, so you got to think it's probably going to be pretty good, but um, it's kind of this weird thing about English football. And once you get into that, I don't think a lot of people bother to watch in the United States. They look at, see soccer and go, I don't think so. 
But uh, apparently everybody, I haven't seen it, but everybody says it's fairly good. Second season wasn't as good as the first. But when you look at these major tent poles that Walt Disney has, uh, and of course uh, the way that some of these movies are doing, right now all it's done is uh, take a bounce and for the last seven days go sideways. Uh, okay. 877-927-6648. Okay. Oh, question on what the uh, options actually look like. Uh, this is them right before the bell. I mean, uh, right before the, let's call it about one thirty. So about an hour in the rearview mirror. Um, so, yeah, are we a little bit above it? What's the cues right now? Uh, 387. So, yeah, you're like 370. Now, these will always be, as I bring this up uh, every uh, time when we go into Delta neutral territory, this is all about being about uh, 20, generally 20 to 40 to 60 points, depending on how many people are short, uh, low. Uh, a lot of people do have this as hedges, so there's, it's naturally going to be almost always pointing to just slightly lower than the expiration or a lot lower if everybody's short. But th that kind of puts us right in where I'm thinking, 387-ish. It's just kind of it. And generally, it'll creep up and kind of merge higher. But uh, we're kind of at the top end of that in a lot of the other stocks that I looked at. So, uh, again, you don't get the full picture until after the close today because a lot of these trades on options are buried until uh, the dark pools close. Uh, but uh, keep an eye on that. 877-927-6648. Uh, what else do we have out here that I wanted to talk about today? Let's see if we get it. Mm. Yep, we're going to break already. When we come back, we'll go through the movers and shakers of the day when we return. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. And as we return, Dan in the den brings up TSM, nice gap higher. Not a lot of volume, though. You're back into the previous high with 25 million shares uh, with about 10 million shares so far today. Uh, is that the end of it? No, but eh, you would have liked to see it a little more. Now, the movers and shakers of the day. Um, of course, uh, everybody's out sick at American Airlines. That's lower. I don't think that really means a lot here. Um, just kind of going sideways around the $19 level. Uh, ALGN, Align Technology, the uh, uh, clear braces for teeth technology. Eh, down, yeah, about 20 bucks on the day. Not much happening there. Back to retest the, the recent lows. Uh, applied materials uh, following that same theme has better volume than TSM today, comparatively. Uh, looks like it's going to go retest the 163.02. Uh, BIIB is the uh, big loser of the day. And uh, that has gone through the previous low of 221.72. This thing had started to look a little bit better, uh, but all the biotechs are in the list today for being bad boys. BSX, uh, Boston Scientific, back up to the previous high of 9 million shares off from the 4th. Uh, today we got 8 million shares. So that one is actually looking fairly strong. You got three nice candles on the move up. Uh, watch that through 4463. It's got a previous high at 4543. That looks to me where it's headed. And if it keeps up with that kind of volume, you're going to do well. Cardinal Health. Uh, all I could think of was I almost never watch uh, CNBC, but I think it was last week uh, before this. In fact, I think it was the day before this January 10th thing where. Uh, I just had been flipping through the channels real quick, checking the weather, and there was uh, Kramer and about five other people all telling everybody to buy health care and how they were buying more shares and they weren't going to wait for it to pull back. And then I remember seeing this thing the next morning, uh, 4842 for Cardinal Health, just an inside day, but still not a good one for them. Uh, Quest Diagnostics. Um, if you're down here in Florida, they're everywhere. Uh, I think this is part of the old quintiles. These companies tend to go in and out of business a great deal. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, but uh, back down to the previous low, the good part about this is it has gone below the uh, previous low out here on November 30th. And uh, that had 3.3 .3 million shares. You only got 1.6 right now. Got uh, some emails in. Let's go take a look at those out here. Uh, what do uh, UVXY calls look like? 
Well, let's take a look at that real quick. U, U, V, X, Y. I'm going to take a quick look at it. Wow. <laughs> uh, an interesting, uh, inter very interesting. Um, U, V, X, Y. Let's go ahead and look at that. Um, now, if you just looked at the options, you'd say, oh, wow, it's going to 15. Uh, but we talk a lot about uh, how to actually read those. And you're right at the, uh, at the hockey stick part of the statistical uh, leverage here. And, yeah, it's – you'd have to have a – if you get a major break of 11 uh, in the near future, what is it trading at now? Uh, see out here. I need to go back a couple of times here. Oh, need to go back that way. Okay, it's trading at 1162. You'd really need it to break, but right now there's two hockey sticks. One at about 11 bucks, and one at about nine. But uh, like I said, this is the only thing that's even slightly saying that there might be something. I don't think there's there's enough there. It is telling you that. They, with a 95% probability, it's not going over 14 uh, before uh, options expiration on the 21st. So I hope that helps you out. I'm not a big fan of it right now. As I said, you might get a little thing. We're going to have to have a surprise, though, I think, to really move out of here. But uh, there's a kink right there at 12 and one at 10. And, uh, you know, below 10, probably hard to get. Above 12, probably also hard to get. Uh, but uh, everything is kind of firming up, thinking that, uh, at least from what I can see, uh, somewhere between 4700 and 4750 for at least a handful, if not uh, a week going forward uh, for some sideways moving. Uh, two, 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 okay. Uh, I got some more emails here. Let's go through these. Uh, yeah, I'm not thinking much right now. Now, after the night, maybe they change before the end of the bell. Like I said, this is really where you, you, these things really start to firm up, and they really start to firm up late in the day. But right now, this is as of 1.30. With this data, uh, between 10 and 12, which doesn't do you a lot of good. Uh, you need kind of a little bit more. If that changes, I'll let you know. Um, to 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 eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Still have got a couple of minutes to get in on the day, but uh, eh, yep, up nine points on the S and P cash, but kind of light and variable is the way I would say it. Uh, let's go through the rest of these dish. Little gap up. A lot of shorts in this one. Good volume today too. So yeah, you're into this big down day. Uh, but you could still get another buck or two out of this to the upside. Uh, back on 11, what is that, the 4th of November, down, just blew up on 11.8 uh, million shares. eBay, PayPal, I know these things were in the news. You got some dark cloud cover on the last couple of days trading. FCX, um, I, everybody yelling and screaming about uh, calls, and apparently somebody buying a ton of calls in all of these. Um, over the last day or two, uh, you did hit the previous high, well, almost, of May 10th. You need 53 million shares. You got 45 today. So it doesn't say right now that there's the energy to get this thing out of it. The Goldman Sachs, um, yeah, not looking good either. Uh, for a day like today, a little bit of dark cloud cover over the last three or four days, but not a huge signal. HSIC, uh, which is Henry Shine, eh, back below, but not a lot of volume. Uh, laboratory Holdings back low. Lily. Um, actually, interesting. Talk about this when we come back. He's uh, back into the gap, lighter volume. Eli.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And we're back up 11. As I said, uh... Kind of thinking we may just hang out here and consolidate for a little while before we go up or back down. Um, this doesn't seem like a lot of juice. Everybody's, you know, there's a lot of cash out there still floating around. As I said yesterday, you know, if you're thinking that the market's headed down, I think it's going to be after options, ex monthly options expiration next uh, a week from Friday. I don't think much is going to happen. Everything's starting to firm up here. Is there a whole lot to the upside? Probably not. But at the same time, uh, is there any downside I see in a lot of these things? N no. Um, I mean, the good things uh, out here today, if uh, you're in gold, um, I think it looks better than it has. In fact, I said somebody this morning, it looks better than it has in two years, at least to me, uh, that maybe this long uh, trip out uh, in the desert uh, for uh, uh, it seems like 40 years uh, that uh, eventually going to pop out the other side but I, it's hard to think that there's anything going to happen in the government where they're going to change and do much about inflation as long as gas prices are high and they don't want to change that so you know, I mean the easiest thing you could probably get rid of 4% of inflation uh, if you just let the boys at it to uh, go drill baby drill 
that, I just don't think that's going to happen. So uh, I think you're going to continue to see high, um, high uh, inflation numbers, which means that eventually it's probably going to be good for gold. Uh, as long as you keep seeing numbers like you do for the cryptos, you know, I think those people are prime candidates uh, to come out of that market and uh, go into gold up uh, 760. Anyway, uh, sell when you can, not when you have to. We'll see you here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat, bat time.